Hi. We are looking at the great God, the great I am that I am, the God that does wonders, the God that is incomprehensible. We can't comprehend him. We can't understand him. The God that is miraculous. The God that specializes in doing the impossible. The God that is beyond one, beyond the bonds of possibility. We're talking about the God that specializes in hopeless cases, in cases that are impracticable. We bring these messages your way because some look at their lives and say, ah, it's not worth living. And you hear lots of suicide cases going on. If in Africa and the third world countries, so-called third world countries, autopsy was to be conducted on the lot of dead bodies, you'd be amazed the findings. We are here to say to you that there is a God that specializes in the impossible. To start with, Genesis chapter 1 tells us that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. When you look around you and you see the awesomeness of God, you look at the stars. Growing up, I used to love the moon very much. There was this um, sweet that comes in a round form. And when you lick it, it begins to take the different shapes of the moon in various seasons. It's full as a full sweet, then it becomes half moon, becomes quarter moon. It just takes the various sizes of the moon at various times. I love it so much. Now, you look at the stars when you come out in the night, so beautiful. You look at the rainbow. The other day, not too long ago, in Abuja, the rainbow came so mid-afternoon. And from an area called Guarimpa in Abuja, you could just see it when you climb the bridge. So vivid it's like it just started from the ground, not far from there. Beautiful. The documentaries are one of my favorite um, pictures movies, especially the documentary of the sea. Ah, I see beautiful sceneries, beautiful fishes, colorful fishes. And you wonder at the greatness of this our God. So we are here to say that we must remove our focus from ourselves, our problems, our challenges, and stay ruggedly focused on the God that is great. I love the hymn now. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the works that thou hast done, I say thou shalt, I hear the roaring thunder. I part throughout the universe displayed. Then sing my soul, my Savior God today. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sing Savior God to thee, how great thou art, 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 how great thou art. I could not listen, they go. Our God is great. Our God is awesome. The heavens and the firmament proclaim his handiwork. Psalm 19, verse 1 
is a psalm that my son, Apostle Paul, taught me in his nursery. He just started school, he couldn't talk. We we'll put him in a Christian school in Abiyokuta, total child. And every day he'll come back. You see, firmament, heaven, firmament, heaven. You can see that he's trying to recite in the movie verse. I now had to go to the school to find out what is this verse of scripture that our son Paul was trying to learn. And it says, Psalm 19, verse 1 The heavens and the earth declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaim his handiwork. Join us to proclaim the goodness, the awesomeness, the greatness of this God that is great in creation, the God of all impossibilities, the God that only Him can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only Him is great, only Him is capable, only Him is able, only Him is reliable, Jehovah. <laughs> Our God is awesome, He's reliable, He's great. Are you out there, you don't know him? Please join to know this God, to exploit, to experiment. The Bible that I know now, I knew it as a teenager, I had a lot of questions. So I'm just reading the Bible to find a lot of answers. For example, in the Sunday school, they always tell us about King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar, King Nebuchadnezzar. I had to pick the Bible to find out who is King Nebuchadnezzar. I didn't know then, then that history, you can just go to history and find out who he was. I began to read, I began to study. Then another one, one thing again that made me curious was Moses. They said, ah, eh, God loved Moses so much. I said, ah, what did this man do that made God love him so much? I began to read Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy to find out who was this Moses. <laughs> so many questions, I sought the answer by the special grace of God from the Bible. You can do the same. Just get the Bible. Get to know Him. In this time and season that the world is so, like, no time. <laughs> if you see how long it takes me to come out, I no be here, no be small. <laughs> but I say, no how, anyhow, any time. In those days when I was absolutely busy, I used to do it. 4 a.m. You cannot say, no how. I don't think come off of my house for a.m. So between 4 and 6, I make, made my videos. But now that I, the, the stress is less, I begin to find other time to make them. What you are trying to say is that get to know this God via the Bible, B-I-B-L-E. The Android is very good, I find, for that. You know, everything has its good and its bad. For distractions, the net is now number one. But again, to help you study the Bible, the net is also very good. When you get the the free online audio Bible. Just be playing it, be playing it, be playing it. You get to know about David and Goliath. You get to know the scriptures. You know, the Bible will just be on your head without you even reading. But of course, when you sit to study, to look at it, for me, that's when it sticks the more. But when I'm absolutely busy, I just go on audio. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. Those of you that say you don't have time, Please go for the audio Bible. You must read the scriptures. You must hear the word and get strength and power therein. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasia Banablo Ministries International. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. The minute you say that, that's all. Your sins are forgiven. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. Sit down. Study. Read. Listen, whatever means you can, by all means, listen to the word. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages, such scriptures, nation building, ministers of the church, when you pray and I pray. On YouTube, we have an account that is loaded with messages for you. Go like, share, subscribe, listen. They are made up of small, small clips that make up, make up for the whole, but each minute is independent. And I'd like to invite you especially to join us. On Sunday, 12 to 1, Church on the Air, Jordan at 3.9 FM is a live interactive radio program on Jordan at 3.9 FM. My voice and your voice, the voice of God and the very special voice 
of the people. We'd like to interact with you, slide interactive as you join us. God bless you. Thank you so very much.